Welcome to another In Wheel Time podcast, a 30-minute mini version of the In Wheel Time car show that airs live every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central. Hey, hey, you got us. You got us. Hey. Here on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show at today's long overdue tailpipes yeah. and tacos cruise in at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy, Texas. Just ahead, we pull another guest from those in attendance what? here today. And we'll have the stories making automotive news headlines this week. Howdy. Along with Mike, out of this world, Mars, we always need more Jeff We do. Deacon. Ladies and gentlemen, back here behind me, the ever popular, the famous, yeah, man that uh, is actually close to Ma Bell. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> David mm. Ainsley. I'm Don Armstrong. Glad you could join us on this Saturday. Uh, we have another guest in the studio, in our remote studio here. By the way, before we get to that, I did want to tell you we've got another hour uh, and a half left of the show. We're midway through. So there's plenty of time to get here. And the way to do that is I-10, the Katy Freeway, with it coming from the west to the east, exit the feeder road to 99 the Grand Parkway. Come down to Kingsland Boulevard. Mm -hmm. One word, Kingsland. And we're right here at the corner of Kingsland and the Grand Parkway. Yeah, and if you're coming from Sugarland, Rosenberg, Richmond, you know. Point South. Yeah, McAllen. It just come on up 99, <laughs> and uh, it's, it's at the Kingsland exit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, for the folks here. coming, I guess the way I came. And by the way, for those that are here that pay any, any kind of attention whatsoever or care, the trophies, the chili pepper trophies for the three categories of cars, and I have them written down yep. here because I can't is remember. I think it was the next page before that. Is it this one, one here? Next, okay. yep, yep. The three categories are best classic, best hot rod, and best modern classic. So one of those trophies is going to go to one in those three categories of cars. And we're going to give. There's a bunch of we're cars. Gonna, yeah, we're going to announce those coming up here in the next 30 minutes. So in 30 minutes, we're going to be giving away the Chili Pepper trophies because that's kind of about, you know, yeah. the time that, to do that. And it's, it's yeah. you know, it's it's. An honor, you know, you've got a lot of camaraderie, you've got guys that have won it before. And people uh, that you absolutely can't stand, and you've run into them here, and you're trying to avoid them and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. the good news is there's enough cars here that you can do that. How many cars? You've been out walking around. How many cars do you oh, think are here? Oh, man, I don't know. They're, they're, the next parking lot, the restaurant next door is full, too. Uh-huh, over the American so Grill. Yes, you, and they're out on the street. I maybe mean, it's 200? I don't I'm know. I'm not a good counter. What do you I, think? I, it's at least we know that. You've been around. Oh, really? We need to turn yeah. his microphone on. Say that again. Everywhere. What'd you say? I said there's probably about 250 here, somewhere there about. Wow. Well, it's, 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 it's an event. Yeah. Everybody's it's been it. dying for tailpipes and tacos. We've been asked about it on every remote that we've been to. I said, hey, not up to us. We'll be there. We'll, we'll be promote there. it. You bet. And well, I was uh, here two years ago, and I think there was maybe 30, 40 cars here. So this is Pretty we're back. Women. We're I know. back. I'm here. <laughs> but what is the premise of this car show, Don? Well, the premise of the car show is the camaraderie. Bring out your car. Visit with friends and neighbors that you haven't sent for a while. And, uh, you know, God's Garage. All of this benefits God's Garage. Yes. Because the tacos are free. Go in and make a donation of any size. Get a free taco. They've also the same thing out at the God's Garage booth out there. And um, it's a good time. Good food. Yep. Good camaraderie. So that's what it's all about. Exactly. And, and if you're if you're not into tacos, they do have uh, you know you got your sodas and your your uh, other beverages. Yeah, other beverages. They do have some adult beverages here. So bring it on. The Sheila May Murray family is here. I see. Is Mama here? She's there, right behind the guy in the red shirt. So uh, anyway. Oh, there. Yeah, you can see her back there. Yeah, it's here now. Hi, Mama. It's good to see you. So everybody's come out. Yeah, including this. Jimmy Nichols here with his He's waving at you, Don. Blow her kisses. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours, boys. <laughs> so Jimmy, is, uh, Jimmy Nichols here. with He's got his 55 210, 210, which is a two-door post car. And he's got a pretty cool story about this car that, that he's had for. I bought it in 1966 for $85. Oh, there you man. Go. You got ripped off. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> 
Nice. I slide up a little bit, let Don get by there. I'm just kidding. Yeah, and your dreams. So, so tell us about the car. So you bought it in 66. Right. And uh, you were telling me a little bit earlier how it was kind of a unique transaction. Well, it was, like I said, it was sitting in a, really a salvage yard. The guy had two of them. He used to drive by them every day. We going to work. I worked for the railroad back then, and I used to drive by them every day. And then one day I went by, and one of them was gone. And Uh-oh. so I stopped in, and I said, how much you want for that 55 Chevrolet? And the guy said, I was surprised that he even gave me a price. Because he had already sold the bumpers, and it didn't have a motor. Well, no whole, car he's parted wheel. out. And, uh, <laughs> so I probably was, showed him to the other guy that bought the other one. I was exactly, surprised man. that he even gave me a price, but he said $85. And I said, okay. I, and then I had $30 on me at the time. I was working for the railroad, making $1.46 an hour. <laughs> and so I said, well, here's $30. I said, I'll be back tomorrow. And so I bought the car, drug it home, put some tires and wheels on it, put a motor in it and uh, that I had and uh, drove it for three years and then I was still young and dumb enough that I took it all apart and uh, and then the body was actually dipped in a tank uh, oh, wow. at one time and stripped oh, okay. and uh, but anyway so time went by and uh, like I said I drove it for three years took it apart hauled it around for approximately 46 years I guess <laughs> From here to here, it never <laughs> set outside nowhere, and uh, but anyway, started working on it a little bit. Didn't work on it. Didn't you know? I was working for myself basically. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, you know, after getting my two boys through A and M for 12 years, in the last, uh, there's a picture of it right there that I took in September of uh, 2017, and you can see what it looked like. It was on a on a turntable type deal, yeah, rotisserie, yeah. rotisserie, with it's totally just like you see it, and and of course that's a picture when it was in 1966, sitting in my mom's when driveway it, yeah. when I first bought it. And, that's the eighty-five dollar uh, car. Yeah, and uh, so anyway, so I've managed to finally get it back together in the last since 2017. I'll give you a hundred for it right now. And, um, you got it on you? <laughs> I'll give you 30 now, and I'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so the three, you got one picture there with the three kids in the back. Of yeah, it. that's my grandkids. They they like to get in the they, trunk. They enjoy it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the first thing they do. They jump in the back seat, roll the windows down, and, and everything, have they a good time. Window cranks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're so, just playing with them, yeah. But, uh yeah, these shows are, you know, like I said, they're, I've met so many people over the last three years since I've been driving. I've been driving a car about the last two or three years, basically. And uh, so uh, it's all about the camaraderie and the people you meet. It's not so much, you know, we go around and we look at cars a little bit, but we're usually just sitting around and people you meet, stories right. you tell. I tell people I bought my car for $85, and they look at it, and they're like, what? <laughs> so it so, kind of gets the conversation. So you've yeah, been yeah. you've been to Lupi Tortillas before. I mean, all these right. these events. What other car shows do you go to? I go to the Nifty Fifties, and 50s? Uh, and then uh, we got a little car club up in Willis. I'm in Willis, Texas. Willis, and, uh, they, and uh, it, it's we talk Willis about them occasionally. Cruisers, uh, yep, and the cruising. And, uh, yep. so I, you know, I meet up there on usually Sunday evenings and uh, hang out. But I've got a lot of friends I met in. In the with cars, uh, Sonny Bennett, Ella Paint Body. He's got. He, we hang out a lot together. Michael Brown, and different ones. Joe Reyes. Now we yeah. go to one. Uh, the first Sunday of every month is uh, over at the Avalon Diner down in Stafford area. Uh, Craig Beerman has Chrome and Coffee, and it's it's much like this. It's a little bit smaller scale, but it's the same event. Uh, Go in and have you know breakfast at the Avalon Diner. You get the camaraderie. You get the networking. Guys like you out there. Uh, we don't broadcast from there, but we go out there and support Craig. Uh, so check that one out too. Well, well, I'm always at the one at San Leon that there you y'all go. do. Yeah, uh, Woody's. Yeah. Woody's. 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 Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been to it two or three different yeah, times. We, it's, we like it, that. Woody's a great guy, and there's you know same thing. Kind of a unique venue. Really, it is a unique venue right there on the water. And stuff. You almost have to know where it's at, if, unless right. you're familiar with the you know, with the waterways and, or whatever down the you know 
know, East the Bay Galveston or whatever Bay. they call it, yeah. Galveston Bay and stuff. So, yeah, it's uh, cool. One of the things I was noticing, uh, and we were talking about it earlier, was the engine that you've got in there. It is a three Chevy 350, but it's kind of a special Chevy 350. Right. Chevrolet, they were uh, promoting some aluminum heads that they designed, and they uh, actually put them on a, on a 350 engine of some sort, raced it in a 12-hour endurance race. And uh, so they to promote their heads, they had a team of guys take 430. They, obviously, they didn't make 430 horsepower, put, them, uh, put the heads on these engines. And uh, so I saw it on the front cover of their performance catalog one day. Right. And so I inquired about it, and first thing a guy told me was that a, a, a part ta- or a dealership at Monday Chevrolet, he's like, the first words out of his mouth was, well, you can't get one. <laughs> That's bad news for me. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, so I started kind of researching a little bit, found out that all the dealers across the nation that sold the most performance parts from Chevrolet – we're going to get allotted a motor or two or whatever. Right, right. Well, there I was found an allotment. It, and, and the guy at West Point Buick was big time into racing, sold a lot of performance parts for Chevrolet, found out they were going to get six. Oh, wow. And I had a friend of mine who bought a lot of fleet vehicles over there, so I contacted him. He called them, and sure enough, we're going to get six. Four of them are already sold. And so me and him ended up buying the other one. So I carried him $1,000. He went and paid a deposit on them. And then uh, in uh, April 30th of 96, I went and picked them up. You know what the whole story it, is it's, on this? It's like the bottom line is it's all who you know. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in this case, that, obviously. Right. Yeah, because right. it ended up number 19 out of 430. Exactly. So we got a pretty low number as far as that goes. Well, there was people There was people back when they came out, they were wanting particular numbers for a particular year car. Uh, or yeah. like the number three motor probably never left Detroit because of Dell Earnhardt. Uh, I have no idea, but anyway, uh, that's, you know, I didn't pick the number. It's just what they got, got and, lucky what, enough to and get the- what they got it. And uh, so, yeah, but. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, I've, uh, like I said, finally got it together. And after 40-something years, it's pretty enjoyable to be able to Automatic? drive it down the road. Yes. Got my, my son has a 50 fleet line that he did some work on. Uh, it's registered. He just wants to give it away. I've got pictures of it. So after the show, I'll, call, I'll bring it to you. I'll, take the pic- I'll show you the pictures. He's got all the listings of what it is. He said, if somebody comes and gets it, they can have it. He wants to give it away. Yeah. Yeah, my wife wanted to sell mine at one point. It doesn't run. Uh, you know, the motor cranks, but it doesn't start. He's got, he's, you know, it's under construction. Oh, but I'll, well. show you, I'll show you pictures of it. See, that gets my interest right away. I'm, you know, I'm 76 as of yesterday. I would have never and, guessed uh, you were that. I thought 75 at the most. I wouldn't even think about trying to build another car, although I got a Dodge Super B I'm trying to fix and whatever. It just goes on and on and on. Yeah, you know, it never but, stops. But my wife wanted me to sell this at one point, and, and uh, she thought, well, we could sell it for about $1,000. And I said, well, you know what? That car's been around a whole lot longer than you, oh. and it don't cost me near as much money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're still married. And I'm still married oh, 42 boy. years. Wow. To that woman? To that same woman? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where, are you back? You're back here? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll bring yeah, it and show you. Uh, yeah. It's really cool. Don't leave without seeing him. Yeah. Okay. Or I, I won't leave without seeing you. Okay. Yeah. I think it's out there on the back up and to, if, if you, to the road. If you don't want to do it, then somebody yeah. else Yeah, will. it's out there on the road. By right. The road. right. Well, it's great talking to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Well, a nice Gave me a chance to get a little break and get up, and my back is killing me, but right. it's all good. Well, wine, it's, wine, wine. So you're, you're, yeah, if nothing else, like I said, it's the, back uh, the most this enjoyable morning. deal is the people you meet. Exactly. That's right. Right. And stuff. You know, lots of people out here today. Yes. I, I'm telling stories with people and, you know, this, that, and the other. It's always enjoyable. Yeah. Best part of That's what we do this for. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Great, well, glad great. to participate. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. All right. Uh, we're going to take a quick break here on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show. Again, coming to you today from the Tailpipes and Tacos Cruise Inn. Over a year in the making. Yep. But we're back. And uh, we hope that uh, we've got an hour and 15 minutes to go. Come on by. And if you're not going to make it this particular one, we understand that there are more in the works. 
It's back, and uh, Chase Murray's in charge, and so we put the pressure on him. Now. Okay. All right. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show is available 24-7 through the iHeartRadio app. Just look for In Wheel Time Car Talk podcasts from your favorite podcast provider at any time. We also video stream our three-hour weekly show on Facebook, YouTube, and InWheelTime.com. The In Wheel Time Car Talk Show continues right after this quick break. Pro-Am Auto Accessories has been serving Houston's auto enthusiasts since 1984, providing world-class products for sports cars, European sedans, and American muscle. Pro-Am is known as the place to go to find exclusive and hard-to-find parts and accessories. Pro-Am is one of the very first distributors in the USA for brands such as Recaro, Redline, Momo, Corbo, and Simpson. Located in the heart of Houston's premier retail and service corridor, the Galleria area, Pro-Am's walk-in storefront includes an 8,000-square-foot warehouse, showroom, and installation bays. Pro-Am not only sells parts and accessories, but also offers installation and service. Pro-Am is now reaching a worldwide audience through ProAm.com, taking its local reputation to the rest of the world. At Pro-Am Auto, you'll be dealing with a small group of professionals who truly want to help you with your automotive needs. If you don't see what you're looking for on the website, call and Pro-Am will lend you a hand. Pro-Am Auto, 6125 Richmond at Green Ridge in Houston's Galleria area. Call them at 713-781-7755. Want to feel good about something special you did for someone special? In Wheel Time and the original Loopy Tortilla group of Tex-Mex restaurants have joined together to help a very worthy cause, God's Garage, a Christian-based 501c3 charity. We know there are lots of places and organizations out there where you can donate a car, truck, or SUV, but we're asking you, our car enthusiast family, to consider donating to God's Garage. Visit GodsGarage.org and learn about its mission, the women that have been helped, how each one is screened, and about their Restore You program. A car donation is an easy way to make a difference in the lives of others. God's Garage needs good operating vehicles, but will take all types in working and non-working condition. Make your heart and soul feel good by donating your gently used vehicle and help support single mothers, widows, and wives of deployed military at godsgarage.org. Oh my God. You're not going to believe who just showed up. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Stephen Woodard from the Department of Public Safety. He is here in the house with us. We never get to see him in person. This is a car guy. Well, you do when he puts you in the cell. Well, there's that. There's that. He hasn't done that lately, I don't think. we, We know him better than anybody else. So he's going to sit down, and he is going to join us now. And we're just going to have to postpone the cruise-in calendar for a little while. Just a moment. Stephen Woodard, oh, my gosh. Look, you even shaved this morning before you came out. <laughs> well, actually, I didn't. See, that's one thing about you. You got my back all, all the time. Hey, so I'll tell you something interesting. We've been going up. Uh, I looked at the first time I was on air on the show. Yeah. You, you probably don't remember, but you, do you know how long it's been? Oh, uh, let's uh, see. It's been 13 years 13, of the show. Uh, it's been at least 12 years. You brought me on nine years ago. Nine. And I appreciate that. I appreciate it. I know, time for know. allowing us to share our little message. So if you go to the back of the grounds, I have my patrol car set up, and I have a heat index meter out there. Okay. Oh, back so around the corner here? Back around the corner. It shows you the temperature of the inside of the vehicle. And the ambient temperature. I'm just nice. reminding everybody it's hot as hell. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. <laughs> but right, I just set it up. Right now, the interior of the vehicle is already at 90 degrees. Wow. And you just got here. I just got here. And it's 10 degrees higher than outside. So we, we're going around the state reminding folks, uh, especially through the Heat Stroke Task Force, uh, to look, be mindful of leaving your pets. And I don't know how in the world people leave their children in the vehicle. No. I don't either. But yeah. we're, we're going across the state reminding folks that. Yeah, because summer's here. You think? <laughs> yeah. Well, One guy said, man, why do you have that towel? Well, i got to dress up when I'm in wheel time. <laughs> <That's right>. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have your vest on? I do, always. I mean, oh, Never my God, man. I, Is look, man, look, I'm too good to get <laughs> shot out. Trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, uh, again... We're going around the state. Um, I'm on a PSA. I got to send that to you guys. We're just reminding folks: take a look at the whatever you send us. We'll put it on the. Yeah, and we did Thank a segment you. not Always. very long ago about that as Thank well. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, Memorial Day. What do you think? 
Well, uh, starting this, off so far so good. Yeah, it's just, great. Just did a, a segment on uh, high-speed uh, traffic deaths well, between I, 80 and 100. There's it, it, 50 it, states. It's interesting. I will tell you, boys, um, Galveston is packed. Everybody's out and about. Um, I'll tell you, going up to right now, I-10 is pretty packed going to San Antonio. Yeah. People are out. They're getting ready to enjoy sure. the weekend. Yeah. Right. And we appreciate that. But we just want you to do it safe. So, obviously, no drinking and driving. Wear your seatbelt. Because that's the most important feature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As he drinks a Bloody Mary, <laughs> <laughs> that's the most. So we got drivers. Don't worry, we buddy. got a driver. Hey, buddy, <laughs> I live right down the street. As soon as I'm done with the show, I'm, I'm coming to your house. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, be mindful of that. Most important feature in the vehicle is the seatbelt. Mm-hmm. Someone may say the tires. I mean, yeah, I get that. We can do a whole show on tires, but we got to wear our safety belt. And I will tell you, here in this state. The seat belt violations are starting to go up for whatever and Steve, reason. Steve, what is that about? I don't get that. I don't know. I don't know. I can pull you the stats. I mean, I, I don't know. Is it because the not only your department but other police departments have so many other things to do crime-related that the traffic is maybe down a notch? Perhaps. I don't know. For, you know, so, kick it down. We're not, we're not the top two, so, but maybe so the top four. Look, I, ha- I have to ask you this question, which I, I'll admit it. I got a ticket for not wearing my seat belt once upon a time. A hundred years ago down in Presidio, Texas, that the only you – know, the officer was there one day a yeah, month. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, but <laughs> I've also known some people that got arrested recently for not wearing a seatbelt. And, and I never well, heard of that. there's something else going on besides well, that, yeah. that's kind of what I thought, yeah. but I, I didn't know. And I yeah, just, there, there's something else going on. Um <laughs> yeah, we don't we don't we don't put folks in jail for not wearing a seat belt. There's something else okay. going on. All right, that's uh, good enough because that's because kind of what you know, Don Armstrong. That's enough to get you in jail. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's I mean, automatic. Just automatic, yeah. yeah, automatic. Well, I, I will tell you, um, <laughs> the, the fatal the fatal numbers here in the state are pretty interesting. They're a little higher than last year as of today. But what I what I can present to you guys is we're going across the state also. Uh, just campaigning for motorcycle awareness. We got a lot of four wheelers out here, but watch out! Please watch out for our two wheelers. I mean, uh, this is Motorcycle Awareness Month, mm-hmm. and TechStot has well, a campaign called "Look Twice." Have you ever heard of that? I have not. I have. Let me let me just interject and say please, this. Please, please. You know, I fly a lot, obviously, and uh, when you're in the air. And and I listen to air traffic control. Well, you know, we've got uh, a fixed wing, whatever it is, coming at you. They're about three miles ahead of you. Yes, sir. Good luck in trying to see that with the naked eye. Yes. Because an airplane goes through the air. Yes. And it's all about aerodynamics. Yes. The wings, you can't see the wings. The best that you're going to do is just see the nose of the airplane. Right. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And it's the same thing with the motorcycle. We're all used to seeing an oncoming car. Car's big. Oh, right? yeah. You got area in the front. Now add a setting sunset or a rising sunset, and you've got a motorcycle or coming some, at you. with big pillars on the car. like it, on that You have a motorcycle there. coming at you? How many times have you had near misses because you couldn't see the motorcycle for whatever reason? Sure. Other traffic? Oh, my God. It's scary to think. I cannot even imagine living with myself if I were the person that was instrumental in having that motorcycle oh, yeah. die yeah. or maimed. I've seen some, as you know, yeah, I've seen some doubt. awful stuff. Yeah. The, the other side of the coin I see is that it it's, goes both ways because you need to have uh, the responsibility on the two-wheeler because I've been in traffic where they've been zigzagging in between cars, in between the lanes, they, they, they scare people, you know, yeah. when you're not used to doing yeah. that, and then they take off and running, and then you see them zip, and they're, they're miles ahead. But guess what? So they have to be careful Eventually, as well. they, they will have a near fatal, if not a fatal accident. You don't want to wish that on them. You just want them to slow yeah. down. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to a group of bikers, <clears throat> and I may need your help, Brother Mars. I mean, I'm going to talk to some bad bikers. <laughs> and I'm going to, uh, this is going to be. Well, he'd uh, be the man to take. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Have you seen, look at him. Look at those arms. <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying is. Those tats. These guys, there's tats. These guys, they're very concerned about their safety, but at the end of the day, they want to do the right thing, too. So I'm going to talk to a group, a, a bike club meeting tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, the, group, the group is called Bikers Lives Matter. And we're going to be talking about just what you're saying, mm-hmm. not being silly on your bike and 
man, don't kill yourself. Right. Help yourself and don't well, kill yourself. Yeah, so. You know, and what's not to say that they don't see them because they don't, and yep. somebody's changing lanes sure, or merging sure, sure, sure. and, and yeah, all that. It's usually yeah. not the biker that really messes up. I mean, some do. You see them out there on one wheel at 80 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, that, that but happens. generally it's somebody popping them from the side. I like, I like the one where, you know, oh, uh, let me pour them a drink out, and you cock the door open, and all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> yep, that's happened There goes times. the motorcycle, the yeah. door, and everything else. That's hey, bad news. Let me ask you this, and it's, yeah. it's, on, it's on my list of questions to ask, because you're always asking me stuff, now it's time for me to ask yeah. you. <laughs> what, what is your thought and from the safety aspect of the newer vehicle now? Would you consider the newer vehicle safer now? Absolutely. Yes, I agree. Absolutely, 100%. Technology is our friend in that case. Yeah, yeah technology. I mean, it's almost uh, impossible uh, to get into a wreck by way of your own. I mean, I'm not saying impossible. But I'm saying, you know, lane assist. Uh, and I can just go oh, all yeah, on yeah, and yeah. on and on. Yeah. yeah. All, uh, all, all of the sensors and the cameras, there's no reason for you. As long as you put the damn cell phone down right pay it. attention to where you're going all right second question on my list for you and i'm, and I'm done with my questions <laughs> what is your thought on i gotta throw it out there the self-driving vehicles absolutely not no it I'm will be fan. one day but today uh, absolutely not i don't i i don't think there so. is a place and a purpose for that but it's not one on the highway and number two is, I just don't think that the infrastructure is there, and neither is the technology with the vehicles themselves. Well, they do have some running in certain segments of Texas. Oh, yes. In, in a certain blocked area. Yes, yes. Where there's but but trucks that's very things. specific for right. that technology right. because, like Don said, it's the infrastructure is the problem. The technology is there. It can see the curbs, and it can see the streets, but it doesn't understand whenever there's – now, where'd my curb go? Yes. Well, I will yes. say this. The story out of San Francisco – where all of the autonomous cars come together at one intersection and they can't get by themselves and they're all jammed <laughs> up there. <laughs> Absolutely nuts. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. we need to let that go a little bit further. It's not ready yet. It's kind of like EVs. Three and a half hours over three days trying to find a working fast charging station. You know where I wound up going? Where? Passa Get Down Dina. Passa Get Down Dina. <laughs> You're familiar with them. I am very familiar. Yeah. So over there at Spencer Highway, that's where I found it. And Red Bluff. Oh, that's Behind that's a Chase motor bank. That's something to consider. There is that. One oh, yeah. thing about in wheel time, you guys don't bash other, but I will say that. No, no bashing. That is inc <laughs> that's inconvenient. That's well, convenient. That's facts. That's true. That's not yeah, bashing. That's, that's just Let me facts. tell you something. The reason that they took down Gillies besides the fire is because that area of town doesn't need to have a Gillies in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty the, rough. Yeah. 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 yeah I mean, it, the streets look great. They've improved all of that yep. over there. Yeah. Because back in the day, it was a two-lane asphalt road. Uh, as, yeah. 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 And, and a shell parking lot. You know, they got Trey the truth. We got Don the truth. That's, That's right. <laughs> Don tell the truth. Yeah. That's, That's it. <laughs> Stephen, it is wa such Incredible. a wonderful surprise. Thank you very hey, much. Hey, um, I'll we tell appreciate you what. it. Um, anytime, I, Brother Mars calls me all the time. He tries to set something up. But I asked him a favor. I said, man, can I come on, spread Heck a little yeah. message? And you know what I want dude? you to do? I want you to do us a favor. No, no, I'm not taking him with you. No, no, no. no, with me. No, but go over there and talk to those guys at God's Garage, and I want you to meet Brad Thompson. Okay. He's right there, right there. Oh, there he is. There he is, right there. Okay. Meet Steve Woodard. You <laughs> two need to get together. Yeah. yeah. We love you. we got to take too, a break. Man. Please and, do. Uh, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you, brother. Thank, Thank you. you, man. You bet. Always appreciate you. All right. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Shoot us an email. The address here is info at Time. We got more from Tailpipes and Tacos at the Loopy Tortilla in Katy right after a quick break. Stay with us. Everyone at the Tailpipes and Tacos cruise in at the Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex in Katy. Thank you for participating in the best cruise in around and look forward to seeing you again. You'll hear about the next cruise in date right here on In Wheel Time. Next time you're in the West Houston Energy Corridor area, be sure and stop in at the original Loopy Tortilla Tex-Mex at I-10 and Highway 6 or the Katy location on the Grand Parkway at Kingsland Boulevard. When passing through Beaumont or College Station, stop in and have Loopy's award-winning beef fajitas and frozen margaritas. There's always a celebration at Loopy Tortilla. 
Loopy Tortilla founder Stan Holt and his wife Sheila are winning racers on the NHRA drag racing circuit and have a collection of hot rods and classics that everyone appreciates. Look for them at the next Tailpipes and Tacos cruise in. The date will be announced soon and will once again be held at the Loopy Tortilla Tex Mex on 99 and Kingsland Boulevard, just south of I 10 and Katy. We'll give you all the details right here on the In Wheel Time Car Talk Show and online. Donations benefit God's Garage. We'll see you then. You own a car you love. Well, why not let Gulf Coast Auto Shield protect it? Houstonian John Gray invites you to his state-of-the-art facility to introduce you to his specialist team of auto enthusiasts. We promise you'll be impressed. Whether you're looking to massage your original paint to a like new appearance, apply a ceramic coating, install a paint protection film, nano ceramic window tent, or new windshield protection called ExoShield, Gulf Coast Auto Shield is where Houston's car people go. Curbed your wheels? Instead of buying new, why not have them repaired? How about a professionally installed radar detector? Gulf Coast Auto Shield does that too. Get a peek inside the shop and look at the services offered by getting online and heading to gcautoshield.com. Better yet, stop by their facility at 11275 South Sam Houston Tollway, just south of the Southwest Freeway, and get a personal tour. Gulf Coast Auto Shield is your place to go for all things exterior. Call them today, 832-930-5655 or gcautoshield.com. That's it for this podcast episode of the In Wheel Time Car Show. I'm Don Armstrong, inviting you to join us for our live show every Saturday morning, 8 to 11 a.m. Central on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and our InWheelTime.com website. Podcasts are available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeart Podcast, Podcast Addict, TuneIn, Pandora, and Amazon Music. Keep listening, and we'll see you soon.